Beginner's Guide to Better Orientate Your Model in Tango Slicer. In this video, we'll explain to you what are the key considerations for model orientation in resin 3D printing and how to optimize your model orientation for each of the considerations in Tango Slicer. 1. Considerations for Model Orientation Model orientation is important for 3D printing. If you orientate your model in a correct way, you'll not only reduce risks of printing failures, ensure the best surface quality, but also save printing material. However, sometimes these considerations may contradict each other, so you'll need to compromise for an overall better result. 2. How to optimize model orientation in Tango Slicer. We'll explain the how-to using this model from Nerickson. If you want to know the whole process of preparing it in Tango Slicer, check the other video tutorial. 2.1 Save Printing Material This goal is the easiest to achieve in Tango Slicer. Select All, click on Orientation from the menu, select Support Volume as Optimize Criteria, and Apply. Tango Slicer will automatically optimize your model orientation to help you save more resin. Two point two reduce risks of printing failures. Apart from leveling your resin 3D printer's build plate and choosing the right exposure time according to the resin you use, you'll need to ensure the first layer is big enough so the print will be stuck to the build plate. Otherwise, the print will move, wobble, and even warp and cause the print to fail. For all the other layers, you need to make sure they're not too big. The bigger each new cured layer is, the more forces will hit your model when separating it from the FEP film, which could lead to models separating from the supports or model deformation. If we rotate the base to form a small angle with the platform, we could make both the first layer big enough and the other layer small enough. So there will be less risks of printing failures compared to the former two orientations. 2.3. Ensure the best surface quality. In resin printing, there are mainly two factors that will affect the surface quality, one is supports, the other is layer lines. As supports are mainly generated on the underside of the model, we would recommend you orientate the model in a way that less visible faces are facing down. Here for the wolf model, the back is less visible than the front, so we could orientate the model so its back is facing down. The current orientation is okay, so no need to further change it. We could practice more with the switch model. If it's orientated in the wrong way, the supports will be generated on the front or rich detailed surfaces. We could change its orientation to avoid these problems and ensure the best surface quality. About the layer lines, we'll cover it in another video. Thank you for watching.